You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I am Mike, and this is Penwell Time. So, this is the original Penwell. This is one that Audrey bought me at the Colorado Pen Show, probably the first Colorado Pen Show several years ago, from Dan at Good Made Better, who uh, produces Penwells. And this is like his invention to make, make it such that you can use any pen you like as a desk pen, put it in there, unscrew it, write some stuff, just pop it back in there, take it out, write some stuff, pop it back in there. Your desk pen no longer rolls away on you. Uh, it's a great gadget and one that I have really enjoyed. Uh, the way it works in general is you have this foam core. This one has like a metal tensioner. I don't think this is how it's made anymore. I, pr I think it's pretty much just a, the same kind of foam core we'll see later. Uh, and then it has a micro suction pad on the bottom, which will stick to most things. It doesn't stick well to my butcher block desk. This is the same. This is the, what I was like, oh, Dan, this is the one problem with this product. Um, Fortunately, I, uh, I have a lamp up here that has a flat surface, and I stuck it to that, and it's lived there for, like, years with no problem. I also went and got a piece of tile from, uh, like, a piece of, like, one piece of tile from a, a, a home improvement store and uh, stuck this to it, and it was perfect. It was actually really great. Um, so this is the very first one, and I've enjoyed it for a long time. Next iteration was this, which is the Penwell Traveler, which is meant to be picked up and, like, on the go with you. And it's uh, it shuts down. It's got this cool swivel. You can have it at many angles, depending on, like, where you want to grab your pen or whatever. But it still has this micro suction pad. So if you're a person that has to hot swap desks or share or you have one of those itinerant situations where you're like you have to be at a different desk every day or some such thing this is great for you you can just pick it up take it to wherever your next desk is boom you're ready to go uh, with your favorite pen um but now we have, I think, the best version of the Penwell, and that's this. So the Penwell Craftsman, which is this uh, device here. Actually, this is the Craftsman. Uh, no, sorry. Craftsman Deluxe. <laughs> um, it's made of ECC, which is a bendable concrete of some kind. It's like a concrete composite, which is a really interesting sort of material I didn't know about before. And it has a very nice finish to it. As you can see in the light reflection, it is smooth. but It has like little voids occasionally. It's got the feeling of like a like a real smooth river stone or something. Like sometimes I'll just I'll just <laughs> sit there and just like sort of like just kind of stroke it like a warry stone, you know? I don't I don't know why, but it's just like it's got a very nice feeling to it. And then the bottom is this brass plate, which about doubles the weight of the thing. The uh, <laughs> the official weight is 20 ounces altogether. Mine is a little bit lighter than that, but this is an early prototype version that I've had for a bit, and uh, it's a little bit less, but only by about an ounce. So. This uh, has a big cavity in here. It has a, uh, a felt pad down there in case you somehow jam your pin in far enough that you're not that you like get past the foam. You'll hit that instead of um, this uh, concrete stuff. Uh, and then inside of that, you have uh, this like foam sleeve and you can see it tapers there's a tiny hole at the bottom and actually if you have a very skinny pen you could put it in like this and put your very skinny pen in there uh, I don't have any pens that are that skinny because that is too skinny for me <laughs> but uh, there might be some out there that would uh, that would work that way and then uh, you just like stick that in there take one of your favorite pens put that in there and away you go, you're ready to rock and roll. So this is, uh, this is a very useful gadget. But hey, Mike, what if I have big fat pens? Well, I'm with you. I got like this Kasama Una that I think would be a great desk pen, but it's kind of a chonker. And it you can only get like just the, the very, oh, I shook my whole desk there. Just the very tip of the cap in there. And like, well, that'll work. It's not ideal. It looks weird. The proportions are wrong. It's kind of wobbly. So uh, you can get the, uh, uh, as an add-on, the extra large foam insert. Comes with this key situation. Mine is an early prototype. It doesn't look like this anymore, but same kind of idea. Use this to just pull this out of here. It goes in this little hole and you just pull the whole thing out. It works really well. Then you just put the new one in there, the extra large, and uh, froomp, there you go. Now this works great. I've actually been using this combo for the last couple of weeks, and uh, I really like that. Now you might be asking, like, hey, doesn't all your ink empty into the cap of your pen? No, <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, desk pens have been a thing for a very long time, and uh, if your pen is just dumping ink out the front, you've got a problem with your pen. It's not a problem with the pen well or with the desk situation. I mean, as you can see here, there's, there's no ink in here, and this, this lives in this pen well pretty much. So I said earlier that I think this is the best version of the Penwell. Let me tell you why. Um, 
it works with my situation perfectly. So even if I had a very smooth desk that these did stick to reliably, um, my desk is constantly in flux. Maybe yours is too, but my desk gets used for all kinds of things. Sometimes I'm wrapping a Christmas present or I'm making a video like this, which has a non-standard angle. I'm usually going down or something, or maybe I'm doing a live video, or maybe I need to spread out a bunch of papers for work, or maybe who knows what. But my desk is constantly in flux. The only thing that's in the same place is kind of my keyboard <laughs> or my monitors, I guess, which are up on arms or whatever. But like everything else moves around and these are not the best at moving around. Even the Traveler, like you have to stick it in place. Um, but this weighing in at a bit over a pound, uh, you can just move it. So if it's in my way, I'm like, oh, I don't really want that there right now. Or I got to put some work here. And usually I'd have this on the left-hand side, but I'd rather it was on the right-hand side. So it's closer to my right hand because of my dominant hand. Or I just don't want this on my desk right now. I can just take it and just put it on the floor. <laughs> like whatever the thing is, this is great. It does all the same things as the other pen wells that I've loved for years, uh, but it does it better for me because I can move it. So check this out on Kickstarter. It is 59 bucks for the standard pen well, which is the concrete bit. And that comes with either of these non-skid pads or you can use um, little tiny non, uh, like the micro suction things on the corners. Or like this is the Penwell Deluxe. This is $79, but it adds this big plate on the bottom, a big plate of brass, which about doubles the weight of the thing. So it's about 10 and a half ounces with just the concrete. And then it's a it's about 20 with the uh, the the plate on the bottom. And then uh, the last thing is that it comes in three different colors. And I think uh, this orange is perfect for me. I don't know if Dan knows how much I like orange or if he just had this one and sent it to me <laughs> to check out. He's like, hey, do you want to check? Yes, send it to me now. I'm super interested in Penwells. Uh, but there's orange, which is ringneck orange. There's also kingfisher blue and nuthatch gray, all named after birds. And you're looking at those now. So... Uh, go to Kickstarter, check this out, uh, and uh, tell Dan I said hi, because darn it, this is the best Penwell yet, and uh, I'm, I'm glad to be able to show it to you. So uh, thanks for watching. Dan, thanks for sending, and thanks for making these things. He makes all this stuff like in his workshop. It's, I, it's, I have to hang like... I have to hang a shelf and I'm like, oh, it's a lot. Of, I don't know if I can do it. And he's making pen wells all the time. So like, you know, support good people making good things that make your life better. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.